Hey Mason, glad to see your film, okay? I like your cars. Thanks, my mom just got me two new ones. This one's my favorite. <laughs> That's cool. It's your favorite color purple? Yep. All right, all right. You can't steal my best friend. Wait, you've replaced me? That surprises you? All right. Hey Mason, we gotta go, we gotta head to school. When will you be back? Next week, I promise. All right, see you later. All right. Feel better. Next week. Yeah. So why don't you just ask her out? What? Rosemary. She's not what's happening. She's in our science class. It's over. over. Uh, it's about time. Well, think about it. Thank God. Thank God. Good. It's about well, time. Well, I gotta go. Good. Don't oh. die, please. Oh, this is not going to be good. <laughs> Your friend's an idiot. Like, oh. I'm sure why it's a little bit Okay. Seriously. Good going, loser! You okay, Xander? Yeah. <laughs> Smooth. Where's my I'm Xander. Clara! Okay, let's, let's, okay, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Hey, you're Rosemary, right? Yeah. Awesome, is this seat taken? No, wonderful, go ahead, sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Hey. Hey. My dad's gonna be here soon. Okay. What? Kendall, don't worry. Mr. Marcus will understand if you don't finish this. Yeah. Are you alright? I just feel like a burden. I can't even finish my homework. That's pathetic. You're fine. I'm not a burden, am I? No, of course not. 
My dad's here. Race, yeah. No. No. Okay. All right. Yeah. Race. Woo! So fun. Thanks, Xander. I'm stuck on the chair. Oh, so it looks like Slovakia beat Russia. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? That's awesome. Mm, looks like <coughs> Oh, good morning, honey. Yeah, hey. So, um, I need you to pick me up at 6 after school because I got this project or whatever. Of course. Are you sure you don't need me to text you or anything? No, I'll remember. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Xander, if your mother says she's going to pick you up from school, then she will. Okay. Someone's angry. What happened? My parents. Oh my god. Are you sure you don't need to write home today? No, I'm absolutely. Step mom. Are you alright? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just a little late. Let's get to class. Answer today. Why? We would love to go to dinner. What time? 5.30? Okay, I'll text Trevor and let him know. See you then. So that went pretty well, I think. I hope yeah. so. Yeah, it's gonna look great. If somebody actually did some work. Yeah. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> it's, uh, when's it due again? Um, Wednesday? Thursday. Third? Oh. Okay, so we have an extra day, time. right? I don't care as long as I get it done. Oh, you wouldn't. <laughs> all right, let's be honest. I'm doing all the work because all of y'all are lazy. I okay. Need to okay, I'm you. trying at least. And okay. then I'm and helping her attempt. Oh wait, I think I think my parents are here. Gotta go. All right. Hi, Clara. Hi. Hi. What else is needed on the project? I think we have to do the PowerPoint. Yeah, that and then yeah, and then the presentation. Hi, Brothers here. Bye guys. Right. Oh, See bye, ya. Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Bye. Have a seat. Yeah. Nah, I got out of walk to school, so I'm just going down and leave you to a taste. Alright? Got it. Bye, Kenzie. See you later. Yeah. Alright, anyway. Um, so do you need to ride home? Uh, no, my stepmom's picking me up. So. Are you sure she's picking you up? Yes, and if you need any help with this, call me. Okay. Call me if she doesn't pick you up. I will. Alright, you sure? Yes. Are you sure? I'm serious. Yes. I promise. Hey, you're worried too much. Is that what's going on right now? It's a love Yeah, yeah, it's going to be late. It's more work to do. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I think I'll check on him later. I'll call you back.
Hey, can I use a school phone real quick? Sure, but make it quick. Okay. Good afternoon, how you doing today? Good. So, what are you doing out here this afternoon? Walking home. Walking home from where? School. Alright, I'll tell you what, why don't you come on up and I'll give you a ride home. It's alright, you don't have to sit in the back seat. You're not a criminal, are you? No, sir. So, what's your address? 1372 Midway Lane. Okay. By the way, what's your name? Uh, Xander Cordova. Xander. Is that short for Alexander? N not that I know of, no. Can I ask your name? Sure, it's Oliver Lurgan. Thanks, by the way. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Cordova. My name is Officer Lurgan. I was driving down the road this afternoon when I came across Xander. <sighs> Xander, get your ass down here right now. What down? What is so important? What? Please explain to me why you were brought home by a police officer at 8 o'clock at night. Well, you see, Janet was supposed to pick me up at 6 after school. But she never showed up. So I walked home. Why don't you call somebody else, Dan? <laughs> well, I did, Dad. I called you multiple times after calling Janet 10 times. And neither of you picked up the phones. Your mother and I were out to dinner with some of her friends. It would have been rude of us to leave You know what else is rude, Dad? Promising to do something, then doing something else. None of this would be happening if your wife just remembered what she said. Do not talk about your mother that way. She's not my mother. She's my stepmom, Dad. She's not blood related. Wow, you care more about your wife than you do your own son. Wow. Sh wow. She is to your mother, Xander. And you have no right to say otherwise. All right. Fine. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't realize that someone who forgets about me 
all the time is my mother. Am I making you upset, Mom? I'm sorry. The truth hurts, doesn't it? Get upstairs, right now. I don't want to see you again for okay. the rest of the night. Okay, sure. I'll leave you and Mom alone for some well-needed alone time. It's not like you get that all the time. Get upstairs, right now. Fine. Oh, all right. Um, I was just asking about the homework, but I figured it out, so it's okay. And then you're probably gonna do like just Why do you keep looking at? Oh my God, Xander, what happened? What did Kendall, you do? Kendall, fine. What? Whoa, what's going on with them? Sorry, it was just. I'm sorry. Asking if you okay, just I just haven't been myself lately. All right. Sorry. Well, I gotta go. See ya. I hope you fall this time. Xander? Huh? Where's your homework? I didn't do it. Why? Because... Next time this happens, you will get detention. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Santa. Santa, put on. Santa, put on. Santa, Santa, Santa. I know you can hear us. Don't play dumb. I know you can hear me. to be getting well. Yeah. Finally. Thank God. Yeah, it's about time. It's been the tension between them for literally ever. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't notice it until just now. All they need is a little push. Xander! What's the answer to number four? What? Number four? Why did Elizabeth find it so hard to cut her relationship off with Stella? Because Elizabeth was tired of Stella's bullshit! <laughs> Mr. Cordova, use language like that again? You spend an afternoon here in detention with me, alright? Whatever. You've had two of those this week already. I don't know what's Look, going Kendall, on. I'm sorry you're so upset. I'm not upset. I fine, yes, I am upset, but that's not the point. It's just <sighs> you are coming to the hospital with me later today, right? Of course I am. Okay, good, because my dad has to go to work and Mason would really like to see you, and it's just please. 
please don't get in any more trouble today. No promises. Miss Tanowitz, I think you rated my test wrong. Excuse me? Yeah, I think you got it wrong. I couldn't have gotten a 74. I hate to inform you, Xander, but I am positive that I've graded your test correctly. I don't think you did. Can I have a test key? Xander, I'll go over your test with you and we'll see what you got wrong, all right? Is that okay, Miss Tanowitz? with your crush. Do you need to come to the hospital with me? Well, I'm sure there'll be many more opportunities. I hope. Come on, let's go. Bye, Miss Ganowitz. See you guys later. Right. Hmm. Hey, Xander, uh, I'll be back to get you around seven. Got it. I love you, baby. I'll see you. Love you, too. Kendall, your nurse is here. Thank you. Hey, how are you, Kendall? I'm good. I'm, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm good. Um, I'm tired, but we all know I'm always tired. So that's no surprise. Well, let's go. All right. Wait, can we visit Mason? Sure. Yes. You didn't have to give me a heart attack. No, sorry. <gasps> May we come in? Of course. Kendall, you're here. I am, and so is Xander. What's up, buddy? Hi, Xander. How you feeling? Any new cars? I'm good. <laughs> no, no new cars. Is that one still your favorite? Yep, it's so cool. Right? It's so amazing. Kendall, I should get you to your room. All right. Mason, we'll see you tomorrow morning, all right? All right. All right. See you. See you bye. bye. Ask you something? Shoot. Why did you listen to Rosemary so fast? I don't know. I just. I really like her, Kendall. You've liked her for a pretty long time. Well, I'm gonna ask her out tomorrow. Wait, what? Yeah, I'll ask her out tomorrow. Sandy, you've been talking to her for like a week? Ah, oh, I hate this part. <laughs> Well, you hate getting a good night's sleep? No, I just thought I would be sedated to get one. <sighs> I'll be here when you wake up. You're a good kid, but she needs more people to rely on. Gandork! I'm up! What? It's time to get up. Stuff's on the counter. Let's go. Uh... Bye. Xander! 
My dad is your ride to school. Xantar! Xander! It's ridiculous. Hey, Xander. Yeah? We're still doing homework in the library after school, right? Of course. Hey, Rosemary, do you yeah. want to come to the library with me and Kendall? Uh, yeah, sure. Do you want me to text my brother? Yeah, uh, great idea. Okay, yeah, I'll text him. I'm sure we can go, though. Uh, you don't mind if they come, right? No, 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 not at all. All right, sure. let's head out, then. Hey, Rosemary, can you help me find a book? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, this one. Can you help me with this question? Oh, okay. So, what are the four bases in DNA, and which pairs to which? Uh, I mean, I know which what the bases are, I just don't mm -hmm. know which one they pair with. Okay, okay. So, anine pairs with thymine, and cytosine pairs with gynine. Yeah. I remember it kind of like apples in trees and cars in garage. It helps me. I see, so like the first... Got it, I'm gonna write that down. Good, thank you. No problem. I'm gonna go see where they went. Mm -hmm. Where did they go? They weren't looking for a book. Oh. 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 Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just friends, huh? Um, my dad is speakers. I have to go. Bye. Right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. So you asked her out? Yeah. She said yes. I saw that. I trust me. I saw that and I don't want to see it ever again. Smooth. Ever. Ever. Oh. Come in. Hey, Rosemary. Hey, Isaiah. So, you and Xander, huh? Yeah. I think he might hurt you. Why? Do you think he's a bad person or something? No, no, that's not what I mean. <laughs> Isaiah, I know he's had an outburst or two, but that doesn't mean he's a bad person. Th that's not what I mean. Then what? What, Isaiah? What makes you think that he's going to hurt me? Because of our family. Isaiah, you've always been so accepting of our family. Why are you... That's not what I mean. Then what do you mean? As far as we know, Xander has a normal family. One mom, one dad. But ours isn't like that. So what if he comes over here and he doesn't accept our family? And he leaves you. I know. I know, Isaiah, but that's my battle to fight, not yours. Okay. Well, good luck on your essay. Thanks. Oh, one last thing. Um, could I, could you give me Xander's number?
Hey. Hey. Complete. Did I wake you up? Yeah. Sorry. It's alright. Photographs, they trap the past. Keep them safe up on a shelf. But life itself will run on. Mr. Cordova, why are you late to my class? Because I am. Well, I'd appreciate it if you weren't late to my class. And I'd appreciate it if you'd stay out of my business. <laughs> All right. Detention after school right here. Your friend has some anger issues. Trust me. I know. Would you mind not staring at me? What's your issue, Xander? Is everything all right? You never acted all like this before. Yeah, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm gonna go ahead and set up a meeting with you with the school counselor for tomorrow. That's not necessary. Really? I beg to differ. That's really not necessary. necessary. Do you want another detention? Well, Xander, I can't exactly let you out a half hour early, so... Go to room 1107. The teacher there should be holding detention as well. Sure. Hey! Tension's not supposed to end for like another 30 minutes. Yeah, uh, I have to go to room 1107. Mr. Markins has some meetings, so... Oh, Yeah. okay, well, I'll meet you there when you're done. Yep. Okay. Don't worry, you're in the right place. Detention, right? Yeah. Where's the, um... She's usually just here for the beginning part of detention, and then, I don't know. At least go do whatever else she likes to do, I guess. <clears throat> Problem? Nope. Didn't think so. Bryn Walshman. Oh my god. You got a freckle right there, and your hands are huge. Okay. It's like, you can, no, like, hold up. Bend your fingers. Bend. Oh, can you do this? This one? Yeah. You could do that. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> it's like a little hat for my finger. <laughs> That's so funny. <sighs> Crack myself up. Anyway. Yep. My name is Xander Cordova. Xander Cordova. Yes. I know. I got you. We on the same page. Apparently we are. Mm-hmm. Mm. You're friends with that really weird girl, Kendall, right? Yeah. Yes, but yep. she's not weird. She just has a lot going on. Mm. I figured. You can deal with that. Mm. So, if the teacher isn't here, then why do you stay? I got nothing better to do. I'm judge. Better not. Mm -hmm. Hey, you you're dating one of the one of the twins, Rosemary, right? Yeah. How do you know so much about me? When nobody talks to you, I can just listen. Yeah. Guess you're right. Mm -hmm. But I'm tired of playing tic tac toe. And there's actually a person, so we're playing young man. Um, you'll never guess this word because pff, I'm unstoppable. That one's a space, but I drew them together, so guess. T. <laughs> False. Oh. Hey. Hey, uh, we gotta go. My dad's waiting outside. Yeah. An introduction would be nice. Yes, uh, Bryn, Kendall, Kendall, Bryn. Nice to meet you. Likewise. 
Uh, Xander, we really gotta go. My dad's pissed. Okay. Uh, good luck with that. Thanks. Come on, let's, let's go. Let's go. How's your day? It's okay. Yes. Xander, please go to the counselor's office. She wants to speak with you. Xander, come on in, have a seat. Here we go. I'm fine, you know. Xander, I have no doubt of that. I just, I just want to talk. How's school been? Fine. Do you have any uh, plans for after high school, careers, majors? Not really. And how have your grades been? Not bad. And do you like your teachers? I guess. Xander, do you plan on going to college after high school? I don't know. And your home life, mom, dad? Stepmom. My family's fine. All right, Xander. I have no reason to keep it. You can head on back to class. <sighs> Xander. I know you don't want to now. But please, come talk to me. Some of your teachers have expressed their concern, saying you're having drastic behavioral changes. I just want you to know you can always come and talk to me. Sure. Hello? Yes, Kendall, I already told you, I have a ride, okay? Bye. Getting out to dinner with some of her friends. Try not to burn the house down. No promises. It 
Beat its mark into my head Thunder roared and lightning screamed Hello? Hey, Mom. Hey, sweetie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Work's a bit stressful. How's your dad? Your dad's good. He works a lot, though. That sounds like your father. Yeah. Xander's good. He has a girlfriend now, um, but he, he's Hun? he's kind of been I'm acting so a little- but I have to get back to work. Oh! Okay. Alright, well, um, uh, I miss you. I miss you too. Love you. Love you too, Mom. Hey, I was with that cover up earlier today. That's very nice. That was my test. You had no right to be cheating off of it. Newsflash, I don't care. I gotta get my grade up in that class or my dad's gonna kill me. And the easiest way to get that good grade is to cheat off the smartest girl in the class. Why don't you try studying for once? Nobody studies anymore. <clears throat> Thank you. No problem. Bryn Walshman. Where's Mary Hills? I know. You're Xander's girlfriend. Yeah, do you know him? I met him in detention. Oh. Besides, I know a lot of things. Xander? Yeah? You're coming to the hospital with me later today, right? Yeah, about that. Rosemary and I are going to the movies, but I'll be there at six. I promise. Okay. See you later then. Bye. Dad, this is my new boyfriend, Xander. It's nice to meet you, Xander. Nice to meet you, too. So I'm taking you guys to the mall to see a movie, right? Yep. All right. Yes. Hello. Right. I know. Right. I'll take Dad, care of this. Talking? Right. Yes, she's fine. No, she's not. Hurting. Dad, who are you talking to? It's your mother. She's fine. Really? No, she's she's just in here for a week. Are you okay? Yeah. Um, I'm fine. Uh, can we go visit Lisa? Feeling? He's having a rough few days. He'll be up and playing in no time. Isn't that right, Mace? I'm sure of it. All right, um, I gotta head back to my room, all right? But, uh, you know where to find me? Hey Xander, how's the movie? It's pretty good. You uh, want to join us for dinner? Oh, I'm sorry, but stepmom and dad having dinner with them tonight. 
At least you need a ride home? Uh, no, my stepmom's picking me up. All right then. Well, it's nice meeting you today. You too. All right, take it easy. You too. I'm sorry I'm late. The movie didn't end until like 5.45 or whatever, and, and I knew my parents were gonna pick me up. So I ran here. You ran here, Xander? Why didn't you just call my dad? That's fine, Kendall. I'm tired. But I'm fine. Come here. Thank you. <laughs> so how's this going? Horrible. I hate it. Do you understand any of this? Because I don't. I don't get it. Clothes and toothbrush are here, and I'm gonna wait outside until you're done. And when you're through, I'll take you to your day, okay? Is Sandra here? No. <sighs> Sandra's not here? He hasn't been here for a month. Pretty sure he's not coming. Are you sure you don't want me to call in another nurse? It seemed to work real well last time. No. I can do this by myself. Yes. Yeah, I just picked her up. Yeah, she's fine. Alright. Alright, have a good day at work. your mother's not gonna make it down for Thanksgiving this year. Why not? Is she okay? Apparently she's got to work. We can't take the days off. She's never had to work on Thanksgiving before. Okay, no, I'm not walking all the way over there to talk to you. One second, sorry. What, Kendall? What's so important that you need to talk to me right this instant? I was just gonna ask if you were okay. I, you weren't at the hospital earlier to this I'm morning. not your crutch, Kendall. Okay? I can't always be right beside you. I have a girlfriend now. And that means I want to spend time with her and can't always be at your beck and call. Kendall, look. I can't always be there for everything you need. We need to find more people to rely on because, honestly, it's so stressful, okay? Start doing things for yourself. Asshole. I'm gonna see you later. Okay. Hey. That wasn't called for, Zephyr. What? what did Kendall do to upset you? It's more what she hasn't been doing, really. I expect you to apologize. I mean it, Xander. All right. Fine. Well, can we get to class? Oh, Xander, I meant to tell you, we're going to one of your mom's friends' house for Thanksgiving. Are there going to be any people my age? No, Xandy, I'm sorry. Then do I have to go? Yes, Xander, we're going as a family. Thanksgiving's next week. I was wondering if we can invite Xander over for Thanksgiving dinner. I think it's about time he meets you guys, and I thought that Thanksgiving will be the perfect opportunity. I think that's a great idea. Uh, make sure he knows his family's invited, too. Okay, thank you. Isaiah, is there anyone you'd like to invite? Guys, in the last chapter section, we learned about the charge and chemical reactivity properties of isolated amino acids and amino acids in protein. Did you want to clean your hands for Thanksgiving? Your whole family. Of course. 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 Of course
course. And a C terminal. And a secondary structure. Now some proteins exist biologically. So, Rosemary invited us to go to her house for Thanksgiving. And I know you two are busy with your party, but can I go? Xander, I already told you, we're going as a family. Oh, oh, Trevor, let him go with his little girlfriend. You're absolutely right. Besides, it'd be easier on all of us anyway. Thanks. Hey, Dad. Um, Xander's girlfriend, twin brother, Isaiah, mm -hmm. he invited us over for Thanksgiving dinner at their house. Do you want to go? Sure, why not? No. Normally it's polite to bring something to eat when you're going to a party like this. Come on, we'll stop by the grocery store and grab a pie or something on our way over. Okay.
point. to number 27. Mrs. Katrin, I'm asking you a question. Um, sorry, what was the question? Number 27, what replaces thymine with RNA? Uh, I don't know. Kendall, what replaces thymine in RNA? You should know this. I said, I don't know. I'm not going to stop asking you until you give me the correct answer. Um, Uracil? That's right. Now don't tell me you're not going to be home for Christmas. I know you don't have to work. No. Look, why weren't you home? You've never had to work on Thanksgiving. So why now? Raising Kendall... Look, raising Kendall by myself is difficult. You... You know, I can't take this anymore. I can't do this. Really? He's okay. Kendall, let's get to your room. Joan? Hello? What time is it? 9.30. No, no, I'm, I'm supposed to be at school. Why didn't anyone wake, why didn't it's anyone wake? It's all right, listen, it's all right. We're just keeping you here for today because you need to try to relax and catch up on some sleep, okay? Just try to get some sleep. Did you go to the stupid hospital? What? Your best friend is in the hospital, correct? Oh, yeah. 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 She's been an a-hole to me all this time. I don't care. You wanna cause problems with me? That's fine. She is your best friend. She's in the hospital. She needs you. Need this. She didn't need to be in the hospital now, did she, douchebag? <clears throat> oh, uh, sorry, Kendall. Now you're awake. Well, yeah, I've kind of been awake for a little while. Um, what time is it? It's uh, 2.34. Aren't you supposed to be in school? I don't care. Wow, smartest girl in school doesn't care about missing classes. That's a new one. Oh my God, why are you here? Um. Oh my God. Uh, well, I... I wanted to check in with you. I heard about your disease. Why? So did Xander tell you? Is Xander no, here? No. That'd be um, a shocker. <laughs> no, uh, Bryn told me, actually. Bryn, Bryn Walshman. Yeah. The Bryn Walshman I am thinking of. The only, we're both thinking of. The only Bryn in our school. Told, told you that I'm here. Yeah. May I ask how she found out? Um, I talked to her like once. Yeah. Uh, she 
heard from school that that you were in here and uh she checked with xander and he said it was true and then she told me and that's right. so the entire school knows i mean most so yes yeah all right well this is going to be an interesting rest of my high school career but we're going to work through it um mm -hmm. huh well this is interesting <clears throat> can you tell me about it what why you're in here oh well that's a really long story i have nowhere to be except for like math class but like is that not a that's not a problem yeah. wow yeah. that's impressive all right well get comfortable because this might take a while <laughs> that's the cheesiest thing i've ever said let's just cut out that okay. i did not i did not say that yeah we're gonna forget all about that okay. moving on all right so it started in a time of my life that i don't so you have chronic fatigue syndrome mm -hmm. and you've had it since second grade correct and nobody knows about it oh, until now i guess well yeah now yeah. the entire school knows about it thanks to someone mm. wonder who that was why didn't you ever tell anyone oh, i mean that, that's not really a great way to start a conversation or meet someone it doesn't really work not a good conversation starter. Hi, my name is Kendall Katrine and I have chronic fatigue syndrome. I could faint on you any second. Do you want to be my friend? Like that doesn't really work. Yeah, I, I, can, I can see where you're coming from there. Yeah. Forever alone. My dad just texted me. He's here. I have to go. I'm sorry. All right. See ya. Rosemary. Thank you. It means a lot that you came here. No problem. See you at school. See ya. You tell anyone else, you'll be in the hospital, and I'll be the one to put you in there. Dr. Moxon and Nurse Joan, please report to room 1925. Thank you. What's wrong? What happened? Is he okay? Sorry. Sorry? What are you sorry for? Mason's situation is deteriorating fast. How long? I give him till the end of the day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to call Xander. How's it going? What's up? Just been waiting for you to get here. Boom. Boom. What are you in for this time? Lunch lady got mad at me because I tried to take all the food. <laughs> before yeah, she gave it out. I was like, I'm gonna fight. Ooh. <laughs> I'm teaching you well. Wait. Hello? Wait, what? Slow down. Okay, I'll be there in like 20 minutes. Bye. What's going on? I need to get out here right now. Why? Does your girlfriend need help carrying her shopping bags? Gotta no, go buy no heels. because this little kid Mason has leukemia and he is dying tonight. And I need you out here. Can you help me please? Okay, chill out. I'll get you out of here. We're not coming soon. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Places to go, people to see. All I need is new shoes on me. Places to go, people to see. 
All I need is new shoes on me He's gone, Xander. What? He's he's gone. You missed him. How? I, I don't understand. He's dead, Xander. There's not much more to get out of that. What is that? Why do you have that? Oh, oh, this? Oh, yeah, he gave it. He gave it to me. Because someone else wasn't here when he should have been. Hello? Merry Christmas, Kendall! Merry Christmas to you guys, too! I was gonna call you to say Merry Christmas. And then my dad's wanted to say it, too. And then Rosemary did, so... Yeah. No, I loved it. Thank you for that. You're welcome. How are you? I know your mom couldn't come home, and I wanted to see if you were okay. I'm alright. I'm a lot better now, though. Um, thank you for calling. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Now, go spend time with your family. I will. Uh, I'll touch you later. Bye, Isaiah. Bye, Kenny. What's wrong, Rosemary? You look upset. I'm just thinking. Can I ask you something? Yeah, go for it. I'm thinking about breaking up with Xander. Oh. And don't get me wrong, Xander's super sweet. Like, really, really sweet. But that's to me, and as much as I enjoy his affection, He's been ignoring Kendall for the past few weeks. And I don't want to tolerate it anymore, but I really like being Sam's girlfriend. I just, I don't know what to do. Uh, sounds like a rough situation. Well, I can't tell you what to do. You get the final say. And sadly, I don't really have any good advice for you either, um, but something tells me that you've already decided what your decision's gonna be. You're a smart girl, Rosemary. I should know, you're my daughter. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. What are you watching? Some dumb horror movie. Do you wanna watch it with me? Yeah. All right, class. You guys have a good weekend.
Hey, Kendall. Yeah. You know where Xander is? No, but I'm about to find out. were like really expensive, so I couldn't find it. Xander! I'm gonna go. What? Why have you been ignoring me these past few weeks, all right? You ignored my call last night. Listen! Why have you been ignoring me for so long? I don't know if it's something I did. I don't under, what is this about? What is, you've been with Rosemary these past few months, leaving me in the dust. So you're replacing me. What? You heard me. You replaced me first. I didn't replace you. Yes, you did. You're treating me like I'm some sort of disease. Would I be wrong? All right, fine. All right, if that's what you think, then fine. I've just helped you deal with your problems for three years, and if that's not enough to show you that I care, then have fun with your life! What? Uh, I'm gonna go look for Kendall. Okay. Really, Xander? Really? That was low. Why are you so upset, Rosemary? Why am I so upset? Do you really have to ask that question? You know, Kendall was completely right. You've traded your best friend for me, and I can't accept that. I can't, and I, I don't want to break the bond between you and Kendall. So you can have both of us, or you can have none of us. Because I won't stand for being the girlfriend of an ass. Rosemary, are you breaking up with me? Until you fix things, I don't want to be your girlfriend. Rosemary. Oh god. Oh. Hey, Rosemary, go call a teacher. Tell him to call Code Blue. Have one? Uh, yeah. You're a jacket. Yeah, I know. And an idiot. And inconsiderate. Okay, Bryn. I get it. I'm a jackass. And an idiot. And very inconsiderate. So, what do I do to fix this? If your ex-girlfriend can see how vital the relationship between you and Kendall is, better than you can, maybe seeing that counselor would be good for you. Peace! Xander, sometimes a hug is the best apology you can give. a lot when I want to think or just chill out or do anything really yeah really do anything hello I'm glad y'all happy now but I've been waiting here for 10 minutes drinking all my water I got places to be let's go like can you get up please <laughs> thank you thank you hurry up walk down them stairs run people Get down upstairs! Let's go! Stop moseying along! Thank you taking three years. Where are we going? Okay. 
if you say so. Mm. That's, a big, mm. that's a big map. Okay, well, we're going to a gas station. Because y'all made me drink my water. Direct me, because I don't know where I'm going. Buckle up. Mm hmm. Bryn's aggressive, but Bryn's safe. I ain't dying. Not today. Y'all ready? Yeah. I won't crack, and I won't break. 